If you have a Bible tonight, turn to Mark chapter 1. If you're there, say amen. amen. Verse number 21, we'll begin reading in verse number 21. And when they went into Capernaum, and straightway on the Sabbath day, he entered into the synagogue and taught. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes. And there was in the synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, let us alone, what have we to do with thee, thy Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had tore him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him, and they were all amazed at so much that they questioned among themselves, saying, What? thing is this, what new doctrine is this? For with authority he commandeth even the unclean spirits, and they do obey him. Now this is the third miracle that Jesus does casting out this devil. He has gone down to Capernaum. He has already been rejected by his own family. And he goes down to Capernaum. Jesus moved his headquarters to the town of Capernaum. He began his ministry out of that city. And when he goes down to that city, and he goes to the synagogue there on the Sabbath day, on the Sabbath he went to synagogue. That was his custom, the Word of God tells us. Jesus believed y'all to go to synagogue, and I believe y'all to go to church. Say amen right there. Amen. amen. So the Lord went down to the synagogue. When he got down there, there was a man down there that had an unclean spirit. He had a demon spirit about him. Now listen, I'm going to tell you something. This guy did not come to church to learn something. He didn't come there to be taught something. He came there with one thing in his mind, and that was to try to face up to Jesus. He wanted to try to discredit the Lord. He wanted to try, and we'll look at what he said here in a minute, what he had to say when he talked with Jesus. But he was there not for good but for evil. My, I'm telling you, that's bad when the devil can go sit down in the house of God, ain't it? Amen. Say amen right there. Amen. You know, when the devil can go to church, when God ain't there. Because if God's there, the devil can't stay in his presence. Say amen right there. Yeah, praise the Lord. The devil will flee when Jesus shows up, won't he? And on this day, when Jesus got down to the synagogue, there was a devil in their midst. Satan had planted him there. He wanted to talk to Jesus. That's what this was about. That devil, he come down there. He wanted to talk to Jesus. He came to cause trouble. The Bible says here that when Jesus came into the synagogue there, and he entered in, he began to talk. They were astonished at his teachings because he taught them as one with authority. Not as the scribes. May I say to you tonight that much of the churches today, we have lost our authority. And you know why that is? Because the preachers, hello, are not preaching with authority. And we've lost our authority. There was a day in this country that government would come and ask the church what they could and could not do. Now they tell us what they'll do and won't do. And we better like it. I heard one the other day on the news. He said, we're not against prayer. We're just against prayer in public. It belongs in the church and the synagogues. It belongs wherever God tells you to pray. Say amen right there. Now, what do you think they would do with this preacher? If I said, we're not against black people at St. Joseph Chapel. We just don't want none of them in our church. How do you think they'd like that? Which, by the way, I wish we had a house full of them, don't you? Black, red, yellow, purple, and pink, if they got any. I'll take them, won't you? 
But how do you think they'd feel about that if we said that? That we don't want no black people or we don't want no red people or yellow people. No, we don't have nothing against them. We just don't want them in our midst. Well, they'd swear up and down you was prejudiced, wouldn't they? And rightly so, right? Well, what's it tell you when the government says we don't want no prayer? Pretty plain, ain't it? And Jesus went down to the synagogue and the Bible says that He spoke with authority, not as the scribes. The scribes didn't have no authority because they didn't have no anointing on them. Amen. Jesus had anointed His people to preach the Word of God. Amen. When they told Peter, James, and John not to preach no more in the name of Jesus, they said, should we obey man or should we obey God? Amen. We ought to obey God. That's what I say. We ought to preach the Word of God. My God, I don't understand preachers that don't want to preach. Do you? I don't understand that. I don't know why from the pulpits of America that preachers ain't standing up today like we ought to be. We ought to stand up for what's right. Say amen right there. If we don't stand, how can we expect the congregation to? Right? Jesus spoke with authority. They were astounded at His doctrine. You see, the miracles, the miracles were to confirm the doctrine. The miracles proved who He was. It was not just who He said He was. It was who He was by His actions, what He did. Amen? I mean, that's going to get your attention when somebody stops your funeral position going down the road and lays his hand on the casket and speaks to the dead man and he sets up in the casket. That'll get your attention. You get the doctor and then, amen, wants to get your attention. You can teach the doctrine. Jesus knowed how to get men's attention. And the Bible says that He taught them as one that had authority, not as the scribes. And there was in the synagogue, verse 23 says, a man with an unclean spirit. And he cried out. Now this is an implant from the devil. That's what this is. The devil's put this guy there. He's planning on using him. But he ain't no match for the King of Glory. Hallelujah. He's no match for the Lord, is he? So the man with the unclean spirit cries out. Look what he says. Saying, let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. Now this is the demon speaking. This is the demon voice speaking from this man. When the first thing he says is leave us alone. What's the first thing you hear out of people? That's what the guy was just telling you about on the news. That's what he was saying, leave us alone. We don't want to hear that stuff. Leave us alone. Ain't that what people tell you when you try to witness to them about the Lord? Leave me alone. I'm all right. How many has ever had somebody tell you, I'm all right, leave me alone? Yeah, been there, ain't you? Been there, done that. I've had a bunch of them over the years tell me, I'm okay, leave me alone. I, I don't want to hear that. Well, if you're okay, you'd want to hear that. Amen. It'll never offend you somebody asking you if you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. If you know Him. Amen. 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 It'll offend you if you don't know Him, but it won't offend you if you do know Him. Amen. It's never hurt my feelings for somebody to ask me if I know the Lord. Amen. Amen. 